Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. What's your scent of the day or scent of the night? Leave a comment down below. New gold foot and banks, and it's no other than Island Lush. So I haven't smelled it yet. I'm excited to try it. Um, Currently, it's one of the newest uh, fragrances from the Goldfield and Banks lineup. They have Sunset Hour, which smells amazing. I met the owner sometime last year when that fragrance came out. Awesome guy, knows his fragrances in and out, and he subscribed to my YouTube channel as well, so that's always a plus. So, shout out to the owner of the brand. So in this video, I'm gonna give you my first impression. I'm gonna spread it on the skin. I haven't smelled it yet. I'm excited to try it, let you guys know how I feel about it. The note breakdown we have posted on the screen here bergamot, pink pepper, nutmeg, ginger. This goes for about $235 for a 100 ml bottle, which I'll present a picture of the bottle on the screen here, whether it be my left or my right. And you can get a two ml sample I have here, we can get for about $10. Okay, moment of truth. Three sprays. Why this sits? One of my favorites is um, Bohemian Lime. It's a great fresh fragrance and that Lime is very nicely done, very nice. It makes it very bright, happy type of fragrance. And I enjoy it a lot. You guys should definitely check that out. And it's a very long lasting, fresh fragrance at the end of the day. Okay, so this opens up with a slight bit of freshness with the bergamot. And then it turns right into some spiciness with some nutmeg. Definitely picking up some ginger as well. Now this one here is a little rough as well. You're definitely going to get this sandalwood feel. Sandalwood is a, a is the forefront of this fragrance. You get sandalwood. Definitely picking up some vanilla, which gives a nice creamy touch to it. And you're definitely picking up leather. The note breakdown. The opening does say hey, get bergamot, pink pepper, nutmeg, and ginger. So you do pick up the ginger. You pick up the nutmeg, but it's a tad bit of freshness. It's not a refreshing fragrance. So this is one where, this is one I would refrain from wearing it in the dead of summer. Um, I feel like it may not be right or suitable for it, but by all means, try it on your own skin, see if it's a heavy fragrance or a light fragrance. Now this, I think, may be more of a spring, fall, winter type of base fragrance. You definitely get a lot of woody notes in the fragrance and some sandalwood as well and some spiciness in it. The leather is in there as well, so if you don't like leather fragrances, you may not like this fragrance here, but there's a lot of sweet notes in the fragrance, so it kind of blends it together. So the ginger is very nice in this fragrance, gives a nice bit of sweetness in the fragrance, and you're definitely getting a lot of this the woody notes. So there's guyac wood and then there's cedar wood. So you're getting a lot of woodiness in this fragrance as well. So if you like woody based fragrances and having that sandalwood as a bonus touch, this is a great fragrance, it really is. This is not gonna be your typical, I wanna say casual scent. I feel like this one here is gonna be more of a, maybe you wanna dress it up a little bit cause you're paying 235, but you can wear it casual as well because when you buy a fragrance, you're supposed to wear it when you wanna wear it. You don't want the fragrance to sit there and not wear it, you know? The fragrance is supposed to be worn. You're supposed to spray it. You don't buy it and just keep it up in your shelf and never wear it. You know what I mean? On the mid, you're definitely picking up a lot of the guyac wood and the cedar. I'm not really picking up a minty feel with the geranium, which is sadly, you know, kind of sucks because I love geranium. Most of the time, I kind of picture myself with geranium fragrances as a minty feel. This one here, I'm getting more of, um, of a sweet feel with the vanilla. Um, you're definitely getting vanilla from that benzoin feel in the fragrance. I'm not picking up any vetiver at all in this fragrance here. This is something I don't really pick up at all. Now I'm kind of in the mid and the dry now at this point of fragrance on my skin. So mainly you're getting um, heavy doses of sandalwood, cedarwood, leather. Not a fresh type of fragrance you would want to wear to an island, if that makes sense. But it smells good. It's not a bad fragrance at all. This is a kind of a heavy fragrance where I can smell it and I don't have to dig my nose in it, but it's not like a tropical fragrance. Like most of the Go For The Bank fragrances kind of lean towards like a tropical vibe or, you know, sitting by the beach, you know, just picture yourself going to Australia, hanging out, having a nice beverage, just relaxing on the beach. This doesn't give me that vibe. This gives me more of a sweet vibe. You know what I mean? Like sitting up cozy next to somebody by a fireplace, um, cold winter days here in Philadelphia. It gives me that cold type of feel. The sandalwood is very nicely blended. I wanna say, um, if you like a lot of sandalwood based fragrances, you're definitely gonna like this fragrance here. This is very versatile. I'm gonna uh, change a little what I said before. 
it's nice to wear a dress up because you're paying $235 for this fragrance, but at the same time, you can wear this dress down. I would limit your sprays because I don't know how heavy it's gonna project off of your skin. It might be heavy, it might be light. I mean, be cautious, do two or three, and if it's not loud, up at the five, six, or seven. So far, I really like this fragrance. I would give it, from a first impression standpoint, I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. It's nice because it's creaminess coming from the vanilla and you're getting a leather touch. Now I would say it's like a, like a rough leather. It's not, I would say a fresh leather. It's kind of rough, rough leather jacket. Maybe you haven't worn in like two or three or four years. You dust you dust it off the dust and you wear it out in public. It's a little rough, right? This fragrance is a little rough around the edges, but it's still a nice fragrance. This is one is more of a mature fragrance. I couldn't see a teenager or a younger person wearing it. I would say maybe 25 and up wearing a fragrance like this. And the price point's pretty hef hefty as well. I'll leave links down below to perfumology.com. Uh, you can order bottles or samples. And I'll leave links down below to GoFood and Banks where you can check out the bottles, the full story and note breakdown. And I think they have samples as well. I'll leave all the information down below. Thank you guys for watching another fragrance video. If you like this type of content, please show your support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. Like this like type of content. And don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified for future videos and give it out as well. Be safe, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next video very soon. Peace.